Hey everyone, Wanderbots here, and welcome back to some more Library of Ruina. So we, oh, what did we do? We we beat up um, the teddy bear. Oh yeah, that's what it was. We beat up the teddy bear. We got Dexter, who I'll probably switch. I guess at some point I should probably start naming these after Patreons or something, uh, or just customizing them as a, as I will. I don't like Dexter. We're gonna switch them at the very least. Uh, <laughs> Unfortunately, see. Dexter, I've never. S I think I've only seen the first episode or two of the television show at my friend's behest, and I just did not like it. Okay, let's make them look more unhinged. You can keep going. But I think that's the show where it's a guy who's a serial killer who kills bad people, right? Or at yeah. least he he rationalizes it with that. And I don't know if it was... I think it was the fact that it was also supposed to be a comedy. It just bumped off of me and I, I was just like Ugh. I don't think it was really supposed to be a comedy really I, I think it was somewhat of a cop drama situation I mean I, I as I said I only saw the first two episodes I don't know if you've seen more than that no to comment on it but I don't know and the thing is a lot of people will say for any series oh it gets better after the first season and you go, but the first season's supposed to be the thing that gets you engaged and immerses you into a show. Like, I understand that the first season is the actors maybe haven't gotten into their roles as well. They haven't created their chemistry yet. But I don't know. It. I feel like it should be a strong opening to get you invested. Oh, right. I was going to change Dexter's name. That was the big one. <laughs> okay. Oh, they don't have any titles. Library. Jose. And we can type in whatever we want if you can think of anything great for... You keep choosing... Stab lady here. Mm. <laughs> Pussy. No, that is... <laughs> what? I don't know. You can call her... Yum, like yum. No, why? No, not <laughs> yum yum. Just brings me back to when I used to read the Extended Universe Star Wars comics, and there was a Deveronian guy, and he would help the protagonists of this one comic that featured Quinlan Vos and Ayla Sakura. And he, like, he and all the other gangsters referred to women as yum yums. And unfortunately, they did that with Ayla. They're like, oh, who's your yum yum? And she's like, don't you dare call me that. Ah, okay, so we're back here. And yeah, so San and Julia are gone. Yeah, they've been booked. So booked. That's one way to put it. <laughs> so now we have Isadora with the giant. What are they called? Are they claymores or are they? Zvihanders. Oh, of course. And they're called Zvi. Yeah. So are they just a group that really likes Vihanders? Sort of. Uh, somebody also pointed out that the uh, each of these organizations, the Hana organization and Zvi, they're numbers. Uh huh. Uh so uh, they're numbers in different languages. Does Hana? The Hana I... doesn't mean one though, does it? No, because depending on what is it, Ichi ni san. But there, it's not numbers across the board. Uh, hmm. Let me look this up. Because Zvaya is means two. Okay, they're... Hana is one in Korean. Zvai oh, is two in German. Korean is Hana. Okay. Hmm. Zvai. Oh, it's Zvai, not Zvai Hander. Huh. All right. Wait, wait what's the pronunciation? Uh, okay. The comment is: Notice you pronounce the German word Zvai a uh, Zvai Hander with the English Z. As a German, I cringe whenever someone pronounces words in the wrong language. <laughs> uh, can I pronounce the Z as a TS as Germans do? Admittedly, this is for a completely different game, but still useful. So it's more of a Zwei. Got it. Zwei? Yep. Yeah, Zweihander. It, yeah, it's not Zwei. Yeah, it's Zweihander. Zwei, right? Yep, something like that. Zwei. Um, okay. Yes, sir. I'm afraid San and Julia couldn't make it back. Requesting additional support. Ah, Isadora, what do you think the purpose of the library is? From the information we've gathered so far, it's the accumulation of knowledge. 
Accumulation of knowledge, you say? The library simply offers a deal. It has no influence on the outside world. It only rewards or punishes those who have entered. The winner can get the books they want, and the loser becomes a book the library wants. Any linkage to the distortion phenomenon? That is unclear, sir. But my instinct suggests that it has to be related to the phenomenon somehow. And why is that? The invitation to the library, its books, and the beings called librarians that reside there, all elements of the library are similar to what we've seen in the distortion. A common feature is that it's impossible to observe them for an analysis of their constituents or components. We cannot carry out a comparative analysis because of this, but this inability to observe itself can be considered a common trait. It's not like you to make such baseless claims, is it? Section 6 will not needlessly obsess over the library. There's simply too much uncertainty for us to recklessly jump into the case. The Sfai Association gets hundreds of requests every day. A fair number of them are allocated to us at Section 6. Sure you understand that your claims are not compelling enough to make us give up on all these requests in favor of the library. I am aware, sir. And yet here you are, requesting additional manpower for investigating the library. You sure you aren't simply using the alleged linkage to the distortion as an excuse to get your revenge on the library or retrieve the books of your colleagues? <sighs> Even as we speak, syndicates like the Carnival are chewing up people's guts out in the open, and the likes of the musicians of Bremen are making modern art pieces out of innocent civilians. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can you go back to that? Yes. So, the Carnival... Did we... A deal with associates from the carnival before, but they're chewing up people's guts in the open. Um, the carnival might have been those like. <sighs> I don't know if we've interacted with either of them yet. Fully. And they could be foreshadowing them. Yeah. And the musicians of Bremen making modern art pieces. Ooh, but wait, are they making instruments out of them or just displays? Because if they're musicians, why are they making? I have no idea. I'm sure we will see them. Ugh. And there are yet more insane individuals looming over the city now, and our duty is to protect our clients from such shade in the city, is it not? You're right, sir. Remember the slogan of our association. Your shield, sir. Exactly. Our role is to be a trusty shield for our clients. So don't put down that shield without good reason, got it? You Why may the leave heck now. are we are we the Schweihanders? Schweihanders. Considering you can't wield a shield while wielding a double and its sword. Like, really? Why? They are the shields. If if they really wanted their motto to be the shields, wouldn't they yeah. be wielding shields? Hey, they could even wield two shields. They could. One on each arm. That would be cool. I mean, I suppose one could argue that wielding a giant sword means that you're still a shield to the person you're defending. Yeah. Boy. Shouldn't they have be have a slogan that has to do with blades instead? Probably. I don't know. In any case, will do. Isadora? Yes? Did you happen to put this invitation in my drawer? No, sir. I haven't received any new invitations yet. What is the current risk level of the library? It's currently resting at Urban Legend class, but it has been slowly rising with every new report. Now I see. The Book of Distortion, is it? They've been using irresistible bait like this to attract their victims, haven't they? Things went rather smoothly thanks to your book. It's not something we could get from any of the guests we've had so far. I simply offered them what they needed the most at the moment. I am better than anyone at understanding the situation at hand and coming up with an appropriate response. Precisely, ma'am. You did come up with a perfect solution to lure out Zvi. Heck, if you can't... If you can print out books right away, wouldn't it be nicer to just make a whole lot of them ourselves? I can only write books out of the things that I know. <laughs> I need more time to write another one, too. What are you laughing about? <laughs> Nothing. Oh, yeah. just... They, yeah. they can only write what they know, therefore they have to absorb more books from the outside? Mm-hmm. Uh, allegory? Mm -hmm. Anyway. Yeah, can't make anything up, can they? Oh, I see. So, can I ask you for your publications from time to time, then? I am willing to cooperate, since you're doing a job as my your job as my assistant. 
just don't pester me too much. Sure thing, ma'am. Mere ser servants such as I wouldn't dare commit such an atrocity as bothering our mistress Angela. Oh no. Do you think this will work out well? The director of a section in an association like this Vi should be more than enough for our, uh, as our next step. The information he holds has got to be on a whole nother level from what we've collected so far. Can they intentionally choose their targets then? Yeah, sort of. They, um... Uh, I don't think they can choose their targets with the invitations, but they wrote a book with what he wants. Mm -hmm. So the invitation went out to him automatically, I think. Mm. It's been quite a while since I've worked in the field. You haven't had any field work in a while, too, no? You're right, sir. We can get this case resolved. We can finally get out of Section 6. It's nice to be finally collecting information about the distortion directly from the source instead of having to get my hands dirty and engaging with all those lowly syndicates. Neither of us should rot in Section 6 for the rest of our lives, wouldn't you agree? Now, Section 9 was the one that was destroyed, right? Yes. Or mostly destroyed. So, Section 1, it probably goes like 9, you know, all the way up to 1. Or maybe in 0. They said that 9 was supposed to be the safest, wasn't oh, it? Oh, no, that's District 9. Oh, District... They're so separate. Section is different. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought that they were trying to go to different parts of the city or something. I, I think they are kind of... Huh. Yes. We can have a revenge for your colleagues, get a lead on the distortion phenomenon, and aim for a higher position at all, all at the same time. How fascinating is that? Everything seems to fall into place too conveniently. <laughs> Greetings, dear guests. I am the di- You must be Angela, director and librarian of your role's namesake, right? Indeed. It's just as you said. I've seen reports about you, but is it true you're a machine, not a human? Hmm. My, my. Staying quiet won't hide it, girl. A machine must behave be nah, machine must behave as a machine. You made quite a huge deal out of your little library. It's rather troublesome to have a non-human like you cause a fuss this big, you know. Sir, I don't believe we should evoke her any further. Provoke. Or, sorry, provoke? What did I say? Evoke. Evoke. Provoke? I thought I said provoke. Okay. I don't think we should provoke her any further. May you find your book in this place. All right, so let's take a look. So, the Zvi crew, they're so all, it's all the crew to first. Pierce for the most part. So one thing I might want to end up doing here is actually going out of my way to have um, different teams that are specialized for different damage types. Mm -hmm. So I have one team that's like really good at Pierce. So currently Roland's pretty good at Pierce. I think these these ones are all set up heavily for Pierce damage. Not fully, but kind of in there. But the next tier we might want to switch it up so we can do other things. Oh yeah, so I can actually switch this freely. Uh, cool. All right. One HP upon winning a clash. So right, these are clash focused. Eh, we'll be fine or something maybe. Okay, so right, I want to do one, two, and three so I can actually see. So they're all aiming for Roland. Uh-oh. One right. of them seems to be aiming for Summer. Yeah, so they're doing on Clash Win, boost next die. I want to aim for something that has somewhat high value if I can. Oh, have you noticed that when <clears throat> when people disintegrate into pages, a little book is left behind? Yeah. But it's open, and it it's the same color as all the books in the background, so they're a little difficult to make out. But I thought that was interesting. I will admit I haven't actually paid too much attention. Let's see. Even worth it? No, let's just go for that. And who are we aiming for? Who's the weakest among them? I think they all have 15. Now, I know that you guys are collecting the folks so that you can use their abilities, which makes sense as to why you're collecting a bunch of fighters then. Yeah. But who would... Like, Angela's in pursuit of one book, right? Yeah. But it would only stand to reason that that book would be from someone 
with a lot of experience and a lot of knowledge. Yeah. So I think to some degree she's aiming for the book of the head or at least mm -hmm. somebody up there. Yep. Okay. But also, who established Lobotomy Corporation? Um, a lady called Carmen. I think she becomes relevant later. Ah, because I'm wondering if Carmen is still in the wings. Or no. any of the wings. No. No? So, so, um, you know the hands in the bathtub thing? Yeah. That's Carmen. Oh, Carmen died. Yeah. Yeah, her dying kind of set off much of Lobotomy Corporation. Oh, okay. Or at least kind of. I... Uh, there was an event that happens in the middle of, or kind of before Lobotomy Corporation's events, where, mm -hmm. um, what was her name? Bina. Bina? Bina. Bina. Uh, she had specifically attacked Lobotomy Corporation. And, um, let's see. I only have two. I swear another character that we've... We, we've played a game, and they've had a very similar name. To Carmen? No, Bana. Oh. I mean, Bana is a, like, um... It's a divine or yeah. demonic being, right? Something to that extent. I forget the, um... Well, I can look it up. Bana is one of the Sephiroth. Or, no? Third Sephiroth on the cup... Ballistic Tree of Life. So technically, that's all of them. Hakma, Hest, uh, Tiferet, uh, Netsak, Yesod, Malkut. Like, they're all there. I don't remember what um, Bana's original name is. Mm -hmm. But so they come up often as like. Uh, they come up often as. Uh, as character names, especially in, like, semi-biblical stuff. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Scars, less damage of slash attacks. When hit, reduce the damage down to zero. You know what? I'm going to put that on her. She's taking some damage. Okay. So Roland can do some stuff. Probably do that. Who is the most... Vulnerable next. We have three. Yeah. Okay, so what are they flinging? One to six. We've taken some damage here. Probably a good time for fleet footsteps. Okay. Yeesh. Yeah, they're getting tougher. Yep. Not over much. Mm hmm I mean, this is only the crew. Yeah, this is just the crew. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So might as well do urging. Who's taking some damage? Let me just keep focusing on them. Okay, they have aspiration and just the extra protection. This guy's broken. He's just going for a very weak hit. Uh, let's see. That's a three to six. Let's just go with that one. And just try and finish them off if I can. Yep. Nope. Ow. But at least we heal a bit. And they're gone. Yeah, they're getting a bit tougher. Not overwhelmingly. Like, it's not problematic yet, which is appreciated. Uh, let's see. So what are they weak to? Piercing. So I might as well just go for that. There he goes. Yeah, so do they take extra damage by bouncing off the background? They mm. might. I mean, I've never seen you push a character that far, but... I have a couple of times. Okay. Okay, so round two. Ooh. Walter, Isadora. Oof. Walter is... Endured. Yeah, so Normally. strong against slashing, weak against blunt. 
he gets one extra speed die and all of his defensive die get a plus one. Mm. Both of which are really good. Slash stagger damage and recover HP. So Walter is going to be a bit bit of a rough customer. What are they weak to? So weak to piercing, weak to piercing. So it's mostly just, do I have enough crush damage in here? Oh. Mm -hmm. I can't change it. Oh, you can't change them. Because this is your second battle, or yeah. third battle. Oh no, no, library and selected. So this is only your second battle. Oh, I see. So I, can, I can't I can change these guys. They're mm -hmm. locked in because they've already fought. But you can change who's fighting them. But I can change them. another team if I wanted to. Oh. So you could have teams that are more suited towards specific play styles. Yeah. Uh, which actually seems somewhat valuable. So, for example, they're not particularly good. So we don't want the extra slash damage. That's not going to help too mm -hmm. much. Flash win. Boost it. Yeah, sure. Let's go with Sawn. And we want to go for probably blunt damage here. And see what I can get. I, I like co Commandeering. That one's pretty good. What does this one do? Nah. Something kind of more defensive. Probably lose one commandeering. Go for go for enduring. It's actually not terrible. Let's see. Go for flaming bat for the time being. And I should probably save some of these. So what do you have? Oh, this is their was... body become invisible. Hmm? Oh, <laughs> that'll probably clear up. But if not, that's a really funny issue. Oh, you know, what? here's the other question. What kind of damage do they do? Mix. A lot of slashing mm. and mix again. So to some degree, like Oh. Yeah. So I might want to specifically switch uh, maybe away. I mean, the thing is, like, it's it's only weak slash resistance, but endured stagger damage. So maybe it's an issue. Maybe it's not. Let's see. And she does a fair bit of... No, she doesn't. Also, what's four speed, four shield, one calmness... Hmm? Where? Like you know how he has the fours? Why is oh, yours only one? Uh, that's the cost. So when you're when you're attributing pages. Oh. Okay. So I have her set somewhat for this. Let's go back. I think it was this page. So I have set fire. Let's go with that. All right. Let's see how this works. At some point, we're going to actually start losing a couple of these. But I'm going to do my best not to. Okay, so because he's got two, he can attack twice. Mm. Which is obviously going to be a bit of an issue. Okay. When it comes to, do you take out the ads and then the boss? Or do you target the boss and then take out ads? Um... I, I tend to prefer to destroy ads before the boss so that I can focus on the boss. Yeah. I suppose it depends on whether or not the boss is a heavy enough hitter to require that you take them out earlier than the ads. Do I want to go for? You don't have any abilities that prevents them from attacking, do you? Uh, no. No, it's mostly the question of like, how do I counter them? Mm -hmm. I'm not entirely sure. If this is the right call, we'll see. 
now. Oi. Mm. Oh, that got him bad. Ooh, good. And yeah, we have no defense against that. Okay. Let's see. All, All dice gain, gain one, two one to two power. power in a clash, but lose power in a one-sided attack. Mm. Which is actually really good. First two combat pages the librarian uses uses after this one gain match light status. Uh, let's see. Gain ember. Pages with match light become stronger based on the amount of ember. However, 20% chance to damage the user if it's too high. I think I'm going to go for display of affection. And who do I want to put it on? Her. Her, probably. I think they're both reasonably good. But they're also using the same setup. Also have vaguely the same resources. Okay. So he's actually pretty damaged. What are they doing? On hit mm -hmm. uh, paralysis and then bleed. If I do that, probably in a good spot. Okay, so he's doing five, two to four, and then if I can, so if I can get above that, I can mess him up. We don't do any blunt damage. So he's doing four. I'll lead with that one. I don't know. Ow. Tie. Oh. Ow. You hear, hear the little squeaky? Yeah, it's because the uh, teddy bear. Mm -hmm. There. Okay, so I think I've actually staggered two of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he can't attack. Okay, so this is perfect. So they're doing weak hits. I don't want three. What are they weak to? Piercing, so retaliate. Okay. What are they weak to? Oh, I guess they're just weak to everything. While, <clears throat> while they're staggered? Yeah. Sorry about that. So I think I'm just going to wail on him because he's had by far the most dangerous. Thai food earlier and it was spicy. Okay, she's down. Hit him with some slash. All right, Fatal. Walter's down. Yep. Well okay. done. Okay, win hit, burn on the attacker, gain a buff. We also do, upon winning a clash deal, bonus stagger damage equal to... Yeah, let's just do that. I'm not going to be able to... Ah. Okay, so they're weak to everything. We might as well take them out. Okay, and they're doing... Ah, clash. I guess I'll just do that one. Well, that's convenient. They have to roll well on that first hit, otherwise it's kind of squandered. I find it interesting that the anomalies are more just giving you special abilities as opposed to actually being a uh, creepy summon. Yeah, I I don't know. I'm glad, glad for that personally. <laughs> okay, so they're once again weak to pierce. I don't have that. They're swinging two dice. So we are just going to wail on them. Yeah, because I get a bonus on clashes, as long as I have the same number of die as them, I probably am going to just knock them out. There they go. That was actually easier than I thought it was going to be. This team's kind of good. All right. Gained Book of Lobotomy Corporation. Oh, boy. Really? Yeah. What does it mean to behave as a machine? Boy, not that topic again. Someone I used to know loved to say that phrase. Like I told you before, making machines with emotions or sapiens is forbidden. Even if one were to be made, the head has long settled the ethical implications and all that. That means they've decided on a solid answer for the long-standing question, how is a machine with emotions different from a human? Their answer being, even if a machine carries emotions and intelligence and is nearly identical to a human in every aspect, 
is still a machine by birth, machines should always be below humans. Therefore, it's now forbidden to create sapient machines as they can disrupt the proper judgment of societal values. Furthermore, all existing sapient machines may be subject to termination regardless of ownership. In short, machines are machines and humans are humans. Machines exist solely to serve humans, is what they're saying. That's the mindset of people, or that's the mindset people in the city decided to have. Where would human brains stuffed in heaps of scrap metal belong? Those would still technically count as humans. Some might even consider them defiled, and others might look down on them, but the brains themselves are neutral or natural. You get what I'm saying? What about an electronic copy of a human brain? That, that would be a machine, since it's not born human. To be frank, I don't really get these standards either. I guess birthright matters to them the most. Maybe it's a defensive reaction born out of the urge to preserve humanity as a species. That's unfair. Nothing's ever fair in this world. You're right. It seems everyone lives with a share of unfairness that they must bear. Now you're talking like a city dweller. And now we've got Yes Odd. Uh, what's... Okay, Yes Odd. I don't think I've actually equipped these two terribly much. I might want to switch that up. Uh, I guess we got I some think books When to it burn. comes to the whole, like, making machines with human in levels of intelligence, I think the reason why I would want to discourage humanity from ever trying to embark on that endeavor is because people treat humans poorly enough. Yeah, I think we'd have to solve a lot of our societal issues before we start doing, uh, messing around with that kind of thing. Just because, I mean, right now, oh, what was it? I mean, there's people that are not housed, who are starving, who... Yeah. But I'm even thinking from the perspective of like, well, yeah, people who aren't housed and starving, but I, I was thinking about, you were talking about some kind of article yesterday about uh, Bezos wanting to do like machine people or something. Oh, oh just, humanoid just robots. A, just a conglomerate of, you know, some of the richest people in the world trying to make AGI as soon as possible. Yeah. I think part of it is because these people would benefit greatly from having um well first they probably want the clout yeah from achieving it in the first place but then also you know corporations have at every turn tried to find ways to cut humans out of the process so that they can be the perpetual rent seeking middlemen of the world you know if they don't have to pay people for their labor and make as much profit as they can while reaping all the benefits. It, it just, that's what they'll do. And so, yeah. Unfortunately though, like they've tried to make robots with the dexterity of people and it's, not really working. Yeah. But I think the problem is in any of these situations is who or what has the right to program thinking things and with whose ethics are they going to be programmed? And yeah. once they start making decisions for themselves, who's to say that they're not going to turn on people? Whether it be all of humanity or their makers or whatnot, you know, ultimately, do you think they would be willing to cede control over their own creation? I don't think so. No. Ultimately, it's going to be another money-making venture. I mean, already they're trying to offer people with fake companionship fake um, creativity, fake, it's all fake. They kind of want to subsume all legitimate human interaction through their filter so that people work in the confines of the, the environments that they make themselves. It's why I really don't like the idea of the metaverse, for instance. Yeah. Because it's essentially just 
a cordoned off theme park for all these tech companies to gather data on the people using the devices, control what you see and hear, feed you ads, have you pay subscriptions to use their services. I mean, we just read something about HP, you know, makers of printers and desktop computers and stuff, wanting people to pay a subscription to use their printer. Yeah. There's just something what? really scuffed about that. What? Okay. All round helper. Oh, it's Reddit. Wait, what? It does look like the little Reddit logo. Yeah. Wait, is I don't that... know if it's intentional or not. What kind of task do you want me to do? I can help with anything. Okay. Restore one light after dealing 10 or more damage in a single scene. It does look like its appendages are bloody. Yes. Beep, 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 beep. Contamination spotted. Proceeding with so trash disposal to? protocol. Smashing, which is a problem. I will help you with my wide selection of... Something. The helper bot can help you with any household chores. Okay. Oh, don't worry. These blades are for butchering the meat. Prior to dinner. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I'm just trying to think of what meat it could be. I didn't want to say, you know, the neighbor or the family dog. But it just seems like a rogue robot for... And that's another thing, too. You know how people really... And tried to embrace Roombas and stuff. Yeah. And how I was like, oh no, I'm not going to have a robot going around my house vacuuming my floors for me. It seems completely wasteful. But then also there's cameras and stuff on it. And by allowing it into your homes, you're feeding data to whatever Roomba corporation there is. Yeah, there Wait, is doesn't that... Amazon own it now? Uh. Or they were trying to buy it. I, I forget. Amazon probably owns, like, there's a couple corporations that own much of everything. And yes, I know it's ironic because this is a YouTube video on YouTube owned by Google, which has become Alphabet. Why is it in the last couple of years people have changed all their corporation names? Uh, marketing. Like, Facebook is meta now. And, you know, Google wanted to become Alphabet. I think it's because they wanted to distance themselves from their main product. Yeah. I think it's because they wanted, yeah. Well, also changing your name and doing some kind of like new agey rebrand is good for attracting investors. I just find it hilarious though, because as I was saying before with the metaverse, I, I don't think there's going to be adoption of it. No. They tried doing it during the pandemic. Every time it comes up, people just make fun of it. I think the recent thing was what? Those weird VR headsets that people could more easily wear out and about? Yeah, the, whatever the Apple... AR. Yeah. Whatever the Apple... Augmented reality. AR headsets. Those look so stupid. Mm -hmm. I think that's part of it is that until you can have augmented reality in like your glasses and have it be really lightweight and easy to carry oh, around. Oh, they already have things like that, yeah, but- but you still have to have a thing attached to it. But also, why would you want to give, uh, something is going to be processing what you're seeing. Yeah. Why would you want to wear a device that's recording everything? I mean, you could do it actually in a much more like simple- I suppose you phones are non do Non-data gathering site way. Like you could straight up have um, little uh, RFID chips in everything. And so if I look at like That's uh, such a waste of chips. RFID chips aren't aren't really much of anything, but effectively you look at it and it would be it would ping off the chip being like, oh, this is a that. And the problem is then what do you do with a this is a that information? So if you look at the car and it's like, oh, this is a Honda Civic. Mm -hmm. But what do you do with that info? There's no marketability to it. It might be useful to a regular person to go into a, a parking lot and be like, oh, that car is cool. But one that immediately opens it up for advertising purposes. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a Honda Civic. 
here's seven dealers in my area where I can buy one. What other use is there for that in, uh, for that kind of thing? There's not. It's almost purely marketing. The only way, reason why you'd potentially want one of these is for like faster access to information but or like a connectivity to the internet, but that comes with a disconnection to reality and that's not something you really people really shouldn't people be plugged want. in all the time well yeah yeah there people shouldn't be plugged in all the time especially because people are going to be plugging in at the worst times like driving mm -hmm. anyway your book delivery is here tidied up my clothes in advance this time too oh greetings angela's lapdog come on still at it with that the books you brought me last time were interesting, to say the least. I learned that the technologies employed in the back streets were interwoven in a disorderly manner. From crude equipment made of junk to clothes woven from antimatter. What? What? All kinds of technologies at various levels of advancement can be seen. There's cutting edge tech out there, but only if you get to benefit from it. I assume wealth is the determining factor. We're in an era where rich people don't have to worry about any disease. We have all sorts of cures now, too. Granted, you have the cash to buy them. Yeah. And then we have people playing God with those technologies called singularities. What was L Lobotomy Corp singularity, by the way? <clears throat> the corp's gone now anyway, so no one's going to sue us for spilling the beans. Aren't you shameless? I suppose it wouldn't hurt to tell you. Hey, stop treating me like I'm like an idiot. I'm not that stupid, you know. Lobotomy Corporation singularity was physically manifesting the human mind an ab abstract concept, converting human emotions to physical energy, in the same vein as the library. Human emotions can be interpreted as a complex mass. That mass is built up through experiences. When emotions are heightened enough, a page will be chosen. A spot is reserved for a person's book. It's a comprehensive manifestation of their ego. As the battle becomes fiercer and the combatants get ag agitated, the egos will grow intense and allow their mental states to be physically expressed. Physically manifesting the mind, huh? Certainly seems similar to the distortion. What did you just say? Oh, nothing, just a bit of a monologue. Anyway, uh, that sure sounds like a singularity, all right. Impressive indeed. You know, it makes me wonder. Malkith s said you guys were part of a project that aimed to save humanity, right? That is true. What kind of saving was all that about, really? Make money rain from the sky or something? That'd save everyone for sure. It can't be compared to such a ridiculous to such ridiculous nonsense. Also, money raining from the sky would hardly solve the issue because Turbo inflation. Well yeah, because it would just cost Everybody turbo would just start charging more. Yep. Yep. And also it wouldn't put a stop to the system that is is just corrupt to its core in the first place. Yep. Because somebody would figure out how to intercept all that falling money with the <laughs> vacuum helicopter. I don't know. And you have no right to talk light, so lightly about the sacrifices we made. Whoa. All right. Calm down now. Sheesh. Can't even crack a joke around here. We sought to cure the mind. Carmen was the leader of our research team. She said every person in the city had a diseased mind. And the disease was so severe, humanity would slowly lead itself to self-destruction at this rate. Ooh, what was the disease? I think was it, it was greed? kind of like a hopelessness, greed thing. I mean, I think mo mo most of the ills of the world are tied to greed. Greed. She described the situation as no better than lemmings willingly jumping into a pit of fire. What? She smel smells a lot like a shady cult leader, according to my tingling fixer, fixer sense. And everyone agreed to what she said just like that. And now you're taking me for a fool. Of course, there were quantitative indices to scientifically prove her claim. I suppose it would be useless to describe them to you in detail. Okay, Ed, Egghead. Setting that aside, did you guys succeed with that goal of saving humanity? You never cease to annoy me. If we succeeded, we wouldn't be here doing this. Oh, yeah, fair point. The fact that we failed to save humanity is not what makes me upset the most. We've committed countless sins. All in the name of a single righteous purpose, saving humanity. We convinced ourselves that we had no other choice. We performed unethical experiments and knowingly drove employees to death in Lobotomy Corporation. We tolerated all those vile deeds for a greater good, but all that's about to be for naught. What, what will be made of their sacrifices? All the pain me and my colleagues endured. Angela ruined it all. Wow, they really are just giving us backstories for, like, everything. Uh-huh. I like that. <sighs> 
fatigued already. What a shame. My employees and I are up for more. Don't be ridiculous. I'll kill you for sure this time. You might want to make uh, Bana a little bit more apathetic. She specifically, like, literally doesn't care about anything. Oh, except really? Except for human suffering, yes. She's, like, the most messed up person. Bina? Yeah, Bina. Oh, okay. Like, you can keep the accent, just make her way uh, less... Uh, okay, fine, fine, fine. Up to you. Okay, yeah, yes, up. Uh, wait. You're just yes odd. Yeah, I was just yes odd. Sorry. I mixed yes odd, Hest, and Hakma up a little bit without mm -hmm. their faces. But nah, not even you will manage to break through our combined effort. You raise a valid concern. It is true. Even I cannot stop all of you in such a short time. We will need to act quickly, Angela. I was just about to do something about it. Chesson. Yeah. Uh, I think it's supposed to be Hest, but I could be wrong. Chest? Hest? Hest? Yeah, I think. Ah, shucks. The Clyfoth deterrence is being lowered. She's overriding my authority on the system. Was this the destruction of Lobotomy Corporation? Angela, yes. Angela let all of the abnormalities Ab loose at mm -hmm. once. The abnormalities are breaching. All Sephiroth and personnel, please follow my lead. The control team will be in command now. Hakma and the architecture team, please stop Angela from taking over all the systems. Understood. Gebra and the disciplinary team, please keep a not bay. You bet. Leave this to me. Hode and the training team, provide the employees with the right manual information. Attention to all employees. This is a Type X emergency protocol. Please act according to the following instructions. Netsack and the safety team, please focus on treating the wounded. All right, I'll try and take care of them as quickly as I can. Yesod and the information team, please identify the weaknesses of the escaping abnormalities right away. I will analyze them with the utmost precision. Chest and the welfare team, please work on restoring the Clyfoth deterrence as soon as possible. Will do. This is this one's my fault after all. No time to feel guilty, Chest. Uh, what? I think it's Hest. Hest? Yeah. Just Hest, not Though Chest. I think I was joking and calling him Chizo a bunch. Hest. Typhair and the Central Command Team, please support everyone with your resourcefulness. Is this the little girl? Yeah, it's the little okay. girl. Okay. I was gonna. No need to say it. It brings me joy to see you all act in such coordination. Now try and stop us till the end. You will never understand how we desperately struggled to stop her from snuffing out all our light. And the guilt we feel from compromising at the end. You're right. I won't. All I care about is helping Angela. I want her to achieve her goal, you know. So you simply want the results, whatever the process may entail. You're no different from Angela, in that you only care about your own well-being. You're despicable, a typ typical example of an inhabitant of the city, suffering from the disease of the mind. You use the technologies the city has to offer you for your immediate convenience, not knowing or caring about how those, uh, not knowing or caring about the sacrifices those technologies were built upon. Ooh. It's a very good topic. Can you go back game. to that? Sure. There. Yeah, you. I'm gonna use... just screenshot it. You should have screenshotted it from when it was being said. That's fine. You use the technologies the city has to offer for your immediate convenience, not knowing or caring about the sacrifices those technologies were built upon. I'm going to go put, post this on our Discord. Yeah. Yeah. Because, I mean, we're dealing with this a lot right now. Yeah, we're... But Wander and I are artists. Yeah, we're artists. Our work has been ingested by all these despicable, disgusting, loathsome generative AI models. Yeah, generative yeah. AI corporations. So it's in uh, like tons of my thumbnails. All of our artwork, uh, 
a lot of my videos because they're starting to train on videos now. And guess oh yeah, what? And YouTube is completely complicit in it, and I hate their guts. Well, and <laughs> it's one of those where it's like every I can't social help media platform is turning against you. Yeah, I bet I, you they're ter they're changing their terms of service as we speak, so that all your private oh, photos. Oh, I'm sure I'm sure it's already in there to some degree that they can just do this, or they'll just secretly change it and be like, "Whoops, what are you going to do about it?" But essentially. We've had people who, you know, they they love things like Dungeons and Dragons and sci-fi and fantasy stuff, and they're just read my char my character's like thirty page like extensive backstory. Also, look at this AI art I generated of them, and it's like ick. it's like ick, no. And they're such traitors too, because there are game developers and book authors and people that are like, woo wee, we don't need artists anymore. Oh no, why are the AI generating my voice? Well, and the thing is, Wander and I got into art to make art for movies and video games. And it, it sucks seeing a bunch of, you know, tech people being like, we don't need artists anymore. We're just going to make them ourselves with a touch of a button, and it's garbage. It's yeah, just. No one had their permission asked garbage. of them. No one is being compensated for it. And so, yes. Lines like this are actually kind of neat. Yeah. Yeah, not know. knowing you're bringing about your own demise. And that's the thing. All this junk is going to lead to the further destruction well, I mean, it's of... It's just going to make the internet dog shit for a while. The internet's going to be horrendous. And entertainment and a lot of video games. and I mean, you name it. Anyway. It's all going to be soulless drivel. Not knowing what you're bringing... Uh, not knowing that you're bringing about your own demise. Oh, so that's the whole diseased mind thing I was about. I should value the process more than the result? Ha. <laughs> you were a bunch <gasps> of dreamers and snobs all along. Oh! Oh! Man! Disease Roland! Of the mind. Roland! I hate you. You're just like all those Roland stupid tech bros. Roland has never been an admirable character, though. I know, but you. <laughs> I should value the process more than the result. So, yeah, once again, that whole greedy need need a, need just instant results you don't care yeah. about the process you don't care about the craft you don't care about developing a skill yeah. and just wants the results doesn't care about anything else i mean remember how he was talking about having no personal connections to like the people you're working with like at no point has roland really presented a particularly good ethos the guy sucks yeah and that's the thing these corporations as i said the ones who want to take out workers and be just become middlemen that rein in all the profits they destroyed the system that we had as a society where people would develop their their crafts their skills their talents offer services to one another and people used to have personal relationships with their local grocer or the farmer or the local artisans the the text like you know yeah and now we go to the supermarket and it's, you know, Target branded meat. And you're like, where is this meat coming from? Yeah, who what are the food safety standards? And if it gives you food poisoning, who do Target's you blame? not going to give a shit. Anyway. I bet and you're... notice how he calls them a bunch of dreamers and snobs. Yep. But that's the thing. These people will ridicule you if you try to say, yeah, hey, this is right. They just start insulting you as opposed to actually really saying much else. I bet you're from one of the nests. Look, I know better than anyone about the price of those technologies and singularities. Diseased mind my ass. Your point about people using singularities without knowing how they really work? That's because they literally have no other option. The corporations have concealed so much that consumers eventually gave up inquiring. Because they're tired. They're already too busy sustaining their everyday life. Yeah, and they'll continue to be tired if they don't actually try to change it. It appears that I'm not getting through to you. Uh, oh, what a coincidence. I was thinking the same thing, too. No matter what you say, I do not want to turn a blind eye to this reality, nor conform to it. So now we have read it. Well, the cleaning robot that went berserk. Yep. Wow. That's really good. The brain has maximum light at the start of a scene, gain extra haste, and do a ton of extra damage. After every three clash wins, restore one light and gain one to two haste Whoa. next scene. These are really good. Look at the look at the story of this little thing. 
However, its limbs were equipped with the instrument with sharp instruments instead of cleaning supplies. And then the I gave I them the gift him. they wanted so earnestly. The surroundings are dirty. Promptly enters cleaning mode. Makes more of a mess. I. Yep. Absolute horrible little beast. All right. Have we barely done any. Oh. Sorry, we were we were ranting about the current state we of the world and while. how and you see, this is what's great. Games like this that have something to say. Have a story to tell. And a story to tell and have some commentary on what our own dystopic world is like. Yeah. I like it when games tell a story and actually stand for something. Pure gameplay is fun too, but I'd never remember those games. Uh, okay. So I don't know which direction we go. Oh, wait. Didn't we get the Book of Lobotomy Corporation? Yeah. So we have two different branches here. Left branch, which is more Zvi, which is Walter and Zvi South, uh, sec sec South Section 6. And then there is Book of Walter, Book of the Distortion, Book of Lobotomy Corporation. Ooh. I feel like this is probably more plot. I'm curious about this. So maybe we go this direction first, see what it gives us. Oh. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Does choosing one no. permanently no, lock off No, we get to go down other? both. However, I do know that if you go too far down one of these paths, you do start getting spoilers. Mm. So we're probably going to want to alternate between them. I'll just do exactly that. I just figure this is slightly less focused. Beyond me. Bastards like you need... Some oh bastards like you need some beating. Get it into your thin skull. That's enough, young me. Beating them to death won't do us any good. District twenty two may be our turf, turf, and these chumps you're beating to a pulp may be from Zvi Section six. But we're talking about an association here. We're gonna be in even bigger trouble if you kill them all. Walter, if only that bastard kept his promise we wouldn't have gotten into this mess we needed the floor plan of lobotomy corpse nest the zvi had it we should teach these efforts a lesson on how important it is to keep promises night will soon fall sweepers could come for our asses any second now and the thumb wouldn't even contact us we shed blood gathering intel for the distortion for that bastard Walter, and this is how he repays us. Those zealots in the Church of Gears took out more than half our syndicate. Their leader was an inhuman freak, all right. We worked our asses off securing the goods from the church, and for what? We can't hand over the floor plan of Lobotomy Corp's nest to the thumb. All that's left for us is to be purged by the thumb for failing our job. Shouldn't have made a deal with an association in the first place. At least Walter was a sensible one. Maybe something happened to him. He might have been a cunning old fart, but he was still the director of Zai Section 6. Besides, he'd usually leave field jobs to his men. Doesn't make sense for him to die all too suddenly. Anything can happen. For F's sake, you really killed them all. Uh, oh. That's one more option for us. We've done it again, flew into a blind rage, and crushed their bones and guts to a pulp. Gang me. Even if there, there were a bunch of small fry from Section 6, killing this many of them might get Section 2 or 3 to chase us down. This Vi could send an army of fixers at us now. These sons of bitches needed to understand the weight of a, what the weight of a promise is. I hope you have a backup plan for when Zvi comes to thank us for that lesson. Just look at this. An envelope. The rumored invitation to that library. Hold on, among the books of the day, they listed, there's the Book of Walter. So that's what happened. You had a plan after all. What? Young me? You already knew that Walter died in the library and still pulverized Section 6? It's about sending a damn message. Ugh. Ugh. Syndicates have a tendency to kill more than they need to. Unlike fixers, they cause more trouble just because they feel like it. Anyway, what were they trying to do getting sweepers and the thumb in, uh sweepers and the thumb involved? I might know about the sweepers. You do. Well, I guess they are infamous. I saw them tear humans to pieces and use them as fuel. 
Are they like that in real life, too? Sort of. One sweeper is tough as it is, but what's really scary is their organizational power. They crawl out of the woodwork every night and clean the back streets. We can't even guess how many of them there are. No matter how many we take down, more would show up the next night. Think we can make it back in time? Isn't this a bit tight? It is, but we'll probably get back just in time. Greetings, dear guests. I'm Angela, the director and librarian of my role's namesake. Scratch that. Just let us in. We're in a hurry. You are rather impatient, I see. I said shut up and let us in now. May you find your book in this place. Well, that was nice and fast. Okay, so bonus blunt damage. Piercing and slashing across the board, at least for these three. So... So they call them stray dogs. Yep. Okay, so they're heavy on the slashing. I guess we haven't actually poked at this one too much. What's he got? He's got Walter's page. Yeah, unfortunately, we don't have anything that boosts piercing damage, I don't think. Uh, let's see. Oh, here's the other question. They do mostly blunt damage. So what are we weak to? Uh, endured. So he's weak to blunt, which is maybe a bit of an issue. Might not be. It's only a problem if you actually lose the... the clash. Well, let's see if we can find anybody else that's resistant to blunt. I think Lulu's... No, it's not Lulu. I don't think we're going to find a whole lot of resistant to blunt down here, unfortunately. Let's see. 10% HP on defeating an enemy. I don't know why it's max 12. Feels kind of basic to me. I... Mm, yeah, so there's not really much of a reason to go all the way back down. I guess we'll just do another Julia's page. Because I could do... Oh yeah, because Walter is weak to it. So Julia it is. The only immediate problem is the slash damage bonus isn't as helpful. Uh, let's see, piercing. I'll have this group be kind of my clashy build. Uh, charge, paralysis, fragile, bleed, smoke. Those are keywords. I'm surprised there isn't any for clash. Oh, rarity. Oh, of course. We don't care too much about that. Uh, I was letting you figure yeah. it out. <laughs> yeah, I'll be done shortly. Just whenever I get a new character, it's like, oh yeah, how do I how do I build them? Mm -hmm. How much do I care about some of these things? Problem is, ever, there, we don't have a whole lot of piercing anything. So I wonder, because you do have access to five different teams, if you shouldn't make some of them specialize or like an all-rounder team and then a team of people that are especially good against a damage type or... Yeah, that was kind of my sort of goal here. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we just need a couple more pages before we get to that point. Uh, let's see. I'm like, I could probably... Oh... No, he's fine. Um, I could probably specialize them much sooner. I also really like the Yasod's, uh, not only the environment, but also the music. Okay. So I might switch to using them a little bit more, maybe. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. That's why we have so many. It is becoming a little unmanageable how much I have. Oh. There we go. Go with that. Yeah, so I don't mind using them. Eventually I'll switch them over so they're doing much more slash, but we need more. We need more books and pages and things. But yeah, the music here is quite good. Mm -hmm. I thought Hod had fairly good music too. So they're three, six, one, six, three, four, and they don't have anything fancy. Let's just do a retaliate. Because that's double piercing and that's what they're kind of weak to. Sorry, I'm just going to be here bobbing my head. Yeah, that's fine. I, Frankly, I don't necessarily need you to tune in too much for the combat. 
the combat is kind of kind of just gonna be me doing my thing. Three to six, two bleed on the next scene on hits. Well, if I do a commanding, oh, that's all of it though. Or do I roll the dice? No, I think I just eat it. Ow. Just the syncopation on this is great. There's the damage. Okay, so far so good. Upon a su successful blunt attack, blind and paralysis, well, we don't really have that. Every three clash wins, restore one light, gain one to do haste next scene. Or lower the minimum value of dice by one, raise the max value by three. I like violence. Slap it on him. Okay, so what do we got? If I do flaming bat, I can mess him up. Who is the most vulnerable among them? Oh, I think I pulled them off entirely. That actually works out kind of well for me. Because I think I'm going to stun him. Okay. They're all weak to... They're all weak to piercing. And I... Right, this character doesn't have any piercing. Let's see. Oh. If I do gut harvesting, it doesn't interrupt them. Maybe it's fine. They're doing three to six again. Okay, that gives us big hits, staggers them. Good clash. Not the best bleed. And then they're just down. Which is why I did gut harvesting so I could just stack a bunch of bleed. Mm. Ouch. So, two of them are currently stunned and the last one is not in a good spot. On hit, recover HP. What? You thought I would let you hit me? Funny joke. Okay, so that one's almost down. Let's see. Can't even do that if I wanted to. Uh, let's just finish them off. Let's see. Go for that, make them bleed. Yeah, they got nothing, so they just eat these hits. I'm getting better at this game. <laughs> Whoa, that was fast. It feels good. Yeesh. I just feel bad for them at this point. Okay. After three clash wins, we're just gonna stick it on him. Okay, oh, and they're they're toast. Uh, let's see. Got harvesting and then. I'll have to pay attention first. if the songs always change when there's only one opponent left. Maybe? Or if it's a time limit. Could just be a timed thing. I will have to check to see if the... the red area? Oh, yeah, but that's them. Oh, that's them. Yeah, we're here. I think. I'll have to check to see if the uh, soundtrack is available for this game. It is. Ooh, it's 20 bucks, though. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's a good soundtrack, and there's probably a lot of songs in it. Okay. But I would still prefer to find physical things, too. But probably not for a soundtrack like a game soundtrack, but eh. I No, I would definitely buy some vinyls. I don't know if they have the vinyls for these soundtracks, but... Okay, deal one damage to an opponent upon winning a clash. Restore one light at the end of a scene if the character did not use any pages that scene. Mm. Huh. Okay. This guy is all combat. Yeah, I mean... Ooh. They were punchy. Well, uh, let's see. So weak to pierce, weak to slashing, weak to pierce again. Hmm. 
do a fair bit of those. The main question is, do I want to switch them so they're no longer doing as much? Wait, no, I can't change anything. Well, in we go. Okay, so Big Lad here is probably the most dangerous just because he's got the most amount of attacks by far. I think all of them are actually going to be kind of worrying because they're going to be hitting for a lot of clashes and there's not much I can do about that. Uh, let's just do that. They're doing two to four. Okay, so that one's not bad. It's a little bit of bleed if I want to. Two to four, two to six. No, so we probably want to do a, that. Now he's swinging a lot at me. Probably just do that, see what happens. Okay. Yeah, because he's going to be pummeling me, and there's only so much I can do about that. Ow. Endured and weak. Yeah. Okay, what do we have? Retaliate. Who's going first? Him. We're just gonna eat that hit unless I want to do something else. Because yeah, five to ten on use. All dice on this page lose two power. And he's a little bit on fire. Guess I'm just gonna wail on him with that. Uh, let's see. Oh. Flaming bat might not work. So he's weak to slashing. They both haven't really lost too much, which is an issue. Guess I'm just gonna wail on him, because I need to take out this guy. He just hits too hard. Mm-hmm. Uh, they've been successful at blocking. Yeah. My build's mostly kind of good. Ah, getting him down. Yeah. Okay. And so I get gain power against enemies with a slower speed. That's actually kind of good. What's straight jacket do? Blunt dice gain power. Speed is fixed at one. Eh. Okay. Who has the most amount of light? No idea. Probably not them. What's they have the light? highest potential damage. Oh yeah, mm. not even close. It, it would have been her, shoot. Wish I could change those. Wish I could have seen it, but whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, big benefit here. Because I might be able to knock them out of the running somewhat. Maybe not. But going first. No, probably that one. And not much I can do about it. Let's just hit him. Well, that worked out for me. Okay, he's down. And then we might be able to just rip him up. There we go. So not perfect, but we took out Gyeongmi, who is by and far the toughest, and one of them is on the ground. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now do we get two? We have two dice. But I think I'm just going to put everybody towards putting him down. 
Because if there's only one left, I can just mob him. And it doesn't even really matter about the stats at that point. Because you can only guard against so much. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do a retaliate. Oh, can't do gut harvesting combat preparation. Sure. And he can't do anything anyway. Yeah, so a dodge die can be used as many times as you want, which is kind of nice. Definitely took more damage from this group than most. Okay, and they're down. Can I do got a... No. Oh, we only have one. Yeah, I'm just going to let him do nothing. This might take another round. We'll see how much damage I can do. You know what's interesting? What's up? Oh. Thinking about the invitations and whatnot. Yeah. Have we had anyone refuse? No. Every single person's uh, just come in willfully. Well, the thing is, they always seem so confident that they'll just be able to waltz in and win. What I want to see is one person who comes into the library and then leaves. Because clearly you can escape. Well, People have Son done did. that. Yeah, Son, Son has... And, and like, I suppose the Batgirl. Yeah, Batgirl has Except as well. Except she went back. And so I almost wonder if somebody could actually abuse the invitation to kind of come and go and just, like, say something to Angela and then leave. Mm -hmm. Isn't it annoying? To listen to your silly chirping. To deal with the things those guests say, I mean. A lot of them don't hesitate to spout harsh, ah, harsh words at you. I'm surprised you can withstand it at all. Uh, you can withstand it all. There are precious guests that we invited, so it's only fair to treat them as such. Besides, I'm already used to keeping others pleased in conversation. I envy that professionalism of yours. Maybe you should give a lecture on hospitality to all the restaurant owners in the back streets someday. We could really learn a thing or two from you. But still, it probably is a lot easier for you to be more flexible with greeting guests, rather than sticking to the same polite attitude. I'll take note of that. All right. Well, I think that's a good stopping point, at least for now. We've, I say we've done a lot, but it feels like it's starting to slow down a little. <laughs> oh, so this is just a side story. Oh, but Nothing once more. again, dealing with the dogs by the looks of it yep. because of the fangs. Oh, we have like a bunch of these. A bunch of different pages to get out of these suckers. So I'll burn them all. I think they were good for like a blunt build and like a very heavy aggro bill build. Mm, probably for good for blunt, right? Because of all the punching. Okay, that should be all the pages that we possibly need. So anyway, I guess thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you next time.